And now, First Warn 5 weather with meteorologist Matt Holliner. Thanks for waking up with us this morning. Let's talk about where there's a threat for damaging wind and yes, a few tornadoes today. Fortunately, not here in the valley, but we do have to include the Houston area and that Galveston that's in play. And unfortunately, Lake Charles, well, that's the last thing they want to hear. Now, I will say the better chance is probably around the Houston area. They're going to be closer to the center, but can't rule out a few damaging wind gusts and perhaps a tornado popping up in the Lake Charles area. Let's hope not. And let's hope not for Houston as well. Certainly the threat isn't super high. Again, if this was a hurricane, the threat would be higher, but it is a possibility for some wind damage. And yes, if there's a tornado, then perhaps significant wind damage. So let's hope not, but it is a possibility. What we're most concerned about, though, is flooding, because look how slow this storm is going to move. This afternoon, it is still offshore. It does not make landfall until around 1 a.m. tonight. And look how it's going to slow down even more. Look at that. There's going to be about 12 hours where it's barely going to move at all. Uh, that is remarkable, and but that's a problem. The, notice how the, tr the, the, the track of the storm is turning. When these storms turn, they slow down. And this one, I mean, it could temporarily become stationary and just be dumping rain. It will continue to weaken. They'll probably make a landfall. Not as that strong of a tropical storm, uh, but still could be some isolated wind damage. The wind threat will be diminishing as we go in to Tuesday and Wednesday. Again, assuming that it does stay off land, though it could stay just offshore. That is a possibility. And then the winds would be a little bit stronger, but we think it's going to make landfall tonight and it's just going to keep dumping rain across the Houston area. And yes, on into Lake Charles. Finally, it's going to start speeding up. Notice we're talking about Wednesday night and then Thursday night. Finally, it just becoming a remnant low, but just dumping tons of rain. In fact, some of the latest models saying that ultimately Louisiana may end up seeing some of the biggest rainfall totals, even more than uh, East Texas, but both areas certainly flash flooding looking likely over the next couple days in particular. Not worried about flooding here. In fact, we're barely going to see any rain, it looks like, from this system. I've got a 10% chance of showers a day, particularly across the northern half of the valley. The farther south you live, I think the less likely it is that you're going to see those showers get ready for a pretty cloudy day. There's going to be a little bit of sun, but I think it's been mostly cloudy much of the day and finally becoming partly cloudy in the late afternoon. Because of the cloud cover and winds out of the northwest, that's our coolest direction. Highs only around 84 today, even though there's not going to be much rain. It is going to be a breezy day and partly due to beta, but certainly a lot weaker winds than what they're going to see around the Galveston and Houston area today. For us, gusts are going to be around 25 miles per hour. Uh, tonight, those winds are going to die down to just 5 to 10 miles per hour. It's going to be a partly cloudy night and a little bit warmer than last night. I don't think there'll be as many 60s around. There'll be some 60s in spots, but I think most will be around 70 degrees, which is normal for this time of year. That is where we we should be. And then tomorrow we're going to start warming back up. There's going to be more sun around. I think it'll be partly cloudy in the morning, becoming mostly sunny in the afternoon. I don't think we're going to see any rain tomorrow. And because there's going to be more sun, no chance of rain and not quite as breezy and the winds more out of the west and northwest. Yeah, those highs are going to be around 90 degrees. By the way, tomorrow is the first day of fall, so <laughs> kind of the opposite. You would think we'd be getting cooler for the first day of fall. Instead, we're going to be warming up. Looking ahead to the weekend, actually could be feeling kind of hot again by Saturday, a mostly sunny and breezy day. Not worried about any chance of rain, but the reason why the temperature going down on Sunday, that could be a weak cold front that'll get here. Of course, that temperature subject to change. Does the front get here early in the day or late in the day? Uh, that's still to be determined, but that's something we'll be keeping a close eye on. More news coming up.